A Mississippi native, running back coach Larry Porter comes to Chapel Hill with 16 years college coaching experience, including stops at LSU, Memphis, Arizona State, and Texas on his resume. Throughout the coaching world, um, people always see very positive things about Chapel Hill, about the university, um, and they've always said that this program had tremendous potential. So again, when you know that all the things that you need, the essential things that you need to, to have a positive football experience here, then obviously for me it was a very exciting moment. During his time at LSU as the assistant head coach and running backs coach, the Tigers won the national championship in 2008. Coach Fedora has won a championship. He's built the program and won a championship, so he understands how to do it. A lot of people speak about it, and it's a lot easier said than done, but it's a lot easier said when you've done it, because you understand it. Um, but, you know, in terms of just the general makeup of your team, I think leadership is critical. I think chemistry is critical. I think character is critical. I think discipline is um, critical, as well as attitude. And all those things, all those different elements, truly, as you can pull them together, truly gives your your team just a strong a foothold in what you're trying to achieve. Drive out, stay square, stay square. Hey, don't cheat it, okay? I don't care about him looking back. We need work right here. Let's go now. Don't don't ease up on it. We owe it to each other, man. Challenge each other to be better today. Say hit, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good job there, Reed. Nice job. I need them eyes right here, TJ. You gotta trust that quarterback in your footwork. Eyes, 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 eyes. Let's go. All right. Eyes up! Gotta get your eyes up there, Warren. I need you right here. From the start, from the start. All right, let's go. When we go to buzzing, I can go. Work through your progression. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Hey, driving through that inside number now. Now, again, load your hands so you're in position to shoot them. When you got to draw back, the more Western movers, you've done. Okay? You got you to be loaded and ready to shoot, man. You got to draw. We're in trouble. Pull them out. Let's go. Communicate. Communicate, Brunson. Let's go. Talk to me. Hey. They didn't tell me you didn't have no arms. 126 B gap out. Huh? Oh, yeah, point. You, you, did you point? Let's go. 37. Here we go. That's it, that's it. Eyes, 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 eyes. Let's go now. Now. Good, RJ. Pre-snap. Good. Pre-snap, I need to know if he's tight, if he's wide. Because that, that, that's a great indicator from the standpoint of what I should be thinking about pressing and sticking it. Or I got to stretch it and get outside of it, okay? Got to press my landmark. Get your eyes up. Whoa. Big gap closed on you. Big gap closed on you. I'm working my progression, right? Tell me what the back was worth. Okay. Tell me where the slot, the slot defender, where was he? He was pressing inside, right? So I got to consider both of those guys threat. Okay, you can't stand on that back and allow him to close space like he did and not be in position to see it, adjust, and pick it up. Okay? So I got to see it faster, okay? And I got to react faster. It's happening faster today. They got a lot, lot of little stuff in it. So, I mean, I'm going to have to kind of process it quickly. Heading into the 2014 season, the Tar Heels will feature several talented backs, each with their own unique skill set, starting with rising junior Romar Morris. He's the oldest one in the group. He's, he's been in the system the longest. Um, again, he's, he's a speed guy. Um, I like his toughness. I like his intellect. Um, I like his attitude. Um, he's, one, he's a guy that, you know, with his uh, tenure within this program, I'd like to kind of add a leadership role to, to, to what he brings to our group. Next oldest guy would be Chris Francis, um, um, being that he came in um, early, he was an early enrollee. In, in, in uh, again, good vision. Um, he's a guy that, that also, you know, has some skill set to provide us an advantage uh, in the passing game. TJ, you know, he's a guy, again, a lot of people know his history, but he has a variety of skills. Um, you know, he can run it, he can catch it. The thing that, that we're working on, not that he can't do it, but I just like for it to be more of a proven commodity from the standpoint of when we get to the second level, being able to make guys miss, because he, he does have the skill set to take it, you know, the distance on, on any given play. So again, just making that a point of emphasis. Elijah Hood, is, he's the youngest, he's the baby of the group. And, you know, again, um, 
tremendous young man with a tremendous uh, skill set. Uh, he, you know, a lot of people kind of view him as more of a power guy because he's, um, you know, 215 odd pounds or what have you. Um, but his football IQ is, uh, is, is, is good. Um, he's not afraid to pass protect. Um, I think in time, his style of running will, will benefit us and, and, um, as well as complement us. Overall, I think I got a, a really good group of guys. I think, um, you know, it's a talented group of guys, but at the end of the day, um, we're trying to pursue greatness in every area of this program. So there's room for improvement um, all across the board. And the good thing is I think these guys are, these guys are committed to improving and, and giving their best to, you know, when we take the field, put us in a position to be productive.